the first one who st studies the theoretical aspects and made advancement of, of, of the fluid flow in the helical coils or curve pipes then showed the mathematically the existence of one pair of counting rotating verses this is a very important concept that is known as can be flow he also showed that the flow in the curve pipes primarily depend on the ratio of the square root of the product of the inertia and the centrifugal force to the viscous force this is all called the dean number the dean number measured the scan flow and the scan flow only occurs in the helical coils or curved pipes not in the straight pipe this is the first major breakthrough in case of helical coils or curved pipes by which different people scientists engineers become able to calculate the pressure drop in the helical coils and there is a lot of uh, facilitate in the design of the different uh, helical coil heat exchanger refrigeration system and other systems used in the industries and other applications in the urban life then solved the navier stokes equation for fully developed flow laminar flow and an analytical way and uh, provide the following correlation here we can see that Fc is a friction factor for a helical coil and Ft is a friction factor for a straight pipe. The only limitation of the Dean correlation is that it is only applied when the Dean number is less than 20. Anyone can calculate friction factor for coil using this correlation and inserting all the values related to the helical coil pipe and flow conditions and can easily calculate the friction factor and then this friction factor is put into the straight pipe pressure drop equation and this will give the um, pressure drop in the helical coil the concept of scanty flow predicted by Dean Taylor confirmed it practically Taylor observed the effect a circulatory motion on each side of the center plane of the coil superimposed on the bulk flow. The existence of scanty flow by introducing color filament in the curved section. Taylor used some, curl, some type of color ink and proved the existence of scanty flow. Later on, White correlated his experimental data on pressure drop and proposed the following relationship. This relationship based upon the experimental data extracted from the helical coil by using some type of fluid and he gave the following relationship although this relationship not accompany all the geometries and the diameters and of helical coil and pipe and pitch and other important geometrical factors and geometrical constraints the limitation of Dean number is that is greater than 11.6 and less than 2000. The very next correlation is provided by Adler. Adler made a very significant contributions and he used the velocity distribution in the coil pipe for laminar flow. He found that the velocity profile differed considerably from the parabolic one. Is he made a contribution in the flow profile which was due to the existence of scanty flow field? Parabolic profile exists in the straight pipe while in the helical coils the profile is not parabolic, it is different in some but and uh, the existence and due to this scanty flow using the boundary layer theory, he derived the following relationship and uh, is applied in the laminar flow regime the very next contribution is made by the Prontal and the Prontal correlation is applied when D number is greater than 40 and less than 2000 and here is the FC is uh, the same and the friction factor for the coil and FSC is the friction factor for the straight pipe 
also has some purpose uh, propose a uh, empirical correlation to correlate voice data in the range of teen number greater than 30 and less than 2000 The next relationship is provided by the ATO for different limitations and different values of mean number. And the Cobain and Verrier have recommended the Fallic equation and it is applied when the Reynolds number is greater than 2000 and less than 9000 and the geometrical ratio of the coil means diameter of the coil and the diameters of the pipe should be greater than 0 0.037 and less than 0 0.097 and in 1963 water provide another correlation based upon an inviscid core plus a thin boundary layer the flow in the core lay in plane parallel to the plane of the symmetry The relationship is applied in the laminar flow regime. The very next relationship is provided by Cuvier and Bloom. These have two parts for the isothermal pressure drop and for non-isothermal pressure drop. For isothermal pressure drop means that the pressure drop in the pipe or helical coils during the pressure drop, the pressure uh, temperature remains constant and and during the non-isothermal condition, temperature is not constant. And uh, they contributed to temperature factor and uh, it is a, a applying range for copper and chlor conditions when the null number is greater than 170 and less than 9000. And also they provide a range for the geometrical ratio of the helical coil. The next one is Mori and Nakayama correlation. Mori and Nakayama published a comprehensive experimental and theoretical study for laminar flow in, in the curve pipe. They used the approximation technique for a series solution and obtained the following equation. For the first and second approximation, they give the following relation. It is also applied for the laminar flow. The next person is based upon extended beam series and curvature ratio of the helical coil. This relationship is also applied when the flow exists in the laminar region and they also consider geometrical factors of the coil and the number and experimental data and a lot of auto again provide an improved correlation and use a different technique that is known as the polyhexene integral method to solve it. He gave the following correlation. The limitations uh, not defined always is applied in the laminar for regime. Then the see Nivasan provide a correlation based upon experimental results for the flow of fluids through the helical coil. This suggests the following equation and this is applied when the Renault number is greater than 30 and less than 300 and also the multiplication or the product of helical coil diameter and tube diameter is greater than 0 0.097 and less than 0.137. Then the Rao and its colleague provided another relationship based upon the vorticity field. They studied the pressure drop through helical coil and suggested the following equation. Here we can see that the renal number varying from 1200 to critical null number and the geometric ratio of coil from 0 0.0159 to 0 0.0. 556 and Coolens and Dennis use the finite difference technique. They use extremely fine grid size and propose the following equation. When Dyke extended the Dean series to 24 turns and obtained the following results. 
in the range of laminar flow. This relationship is clearly in disagreement with the result obtained by other theoretical analysis. It suggested that this dependency was due to the inaccuracy or incorrectness of then available numerical and analytical solution. Mr. and Gupta presented pressure drop for Newtonian liquid flow through helical coil of different dimensions. The coils were made of thick walled, flexible and smooth polythene pressure tubing. They modified the Dean number to incorporate the effect of pitch. It is an important thing considered by the Mr. and Gupta correlation, the pitch of the coil. No one before Mr. and Gupta considered the pitch of the coil and uh, they provided a mathematical relation that considering the pitch of the coil and very important effect has been observed. They observed that the pitch had a negligible effect on pressure drop if it was less than diameter of the coil and if it is greater than that then it has a important effect on the pressure drop of the helical coil. Then Dennis provided an, another correlation for the pressure drop and further Hart and his team proposed the following empirical equation for helically coiled tube and we can see that it has a some different shape. The next person is a raw raw also provided a correlation, the following correlation. Here the DEG is a, for Newtonian fluids and for non-Newtonian fluids. These are the uh, different equations and terms used for the both types uh, of fluids, non-Newtonian and Newtonian fluids.